I did a like a half an hour chat just about um, behavior change, basically. And it, that was in Facebook. He commented on a post in Instagram saying, oh, that was a great chat you did earlier. Um, a great video you did earlier. And I was like, oh, right, thank you. What was your biggest takeaway? And it, it was something that I didn't even plan on saying, right? I had it all like laid out what I was going to say. It was about half an hour. I didn't even plan on saying this. And that was his, this was his biggest takeaway. So what I'd said was exactly what you just said there was, was you, you, you know, you've got your lifestyle, however it is. And then people try and say, right, I want to get in shape. I want to lose weight. Um, I want to be a better mother, father, have better relationships, have, have more time with the kids, all of that, all in one go which takes a, a lifestyle overhaul, doesn't it? So, mm. which is a nightmare because you've got to learn new skills and you've got to learn new behaviours all the while while you're doing all the things that you usually do anyway. So you're just, you're just setting yourself up for disaster, right? Some people can do it. A very, very, very small percentage of people can do it. Um, and we'll find that out next week, actually, won't we? But um, that's, that's not everyone. So what I'd actually said was just starting out small small new habits um, and integrating them into your current lifestyle. So if you've got like, you know, three minutes to spare in your current lifestyle, that's what you've integrated into. And then what happens after a while is when you, re when you start to realize that this thing helps benefit your energy or your, your stress levels or it does improve your relationship and your fitness and all this sort of stuff, you increase that. And then what happens is gradually over time, it's like you with the, you, you were talking about with the levers, gradually over time. So you've inserted this tiny new thing into your lifestyle. And so it, it fits into your lifestyle, but then your lifestyle starts to, to change around that thing. And then eventually you come to some sort of harmony. Um, Mike Kukowski, who was on the podcast ages ago, and he, I'm in a group with him and he talks about, um, he talked about on his podcast, the strength of strength connection podcast was having harmony instead of balance. Because mm. um, when you've got balance, you're, 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 never actually, you're never actually still, you're moving around all the time to hold yourself where you are, which is fine. But if you can find harmony where everything's moving along quite smoothly, um, that's what you can try to do with your lifestyle. So instead of a lifestyle overhaul, you start slowly and then your lifestyle starts to, to mold around the things that you want to be able to do. And the, this this the slow process of that gives you more chance of winning mm. um and that's what i didn't say that exactly in the when i was talking because it would have taken half an hour to say that like it just has now <laughs> but but that was this guy's biggest takeaway and i was like brilliant i didn't even like i didn't even think that well i knew it was a thing but i hadn't planned on saying that it just came up in the in the in the video you know mm. no that's great isn't it i think that that's um what I was, what I've been trying to get across to my guys as well is that um, we, we, so, so, so the first thing I did was, was I started, I just put a kind of the, the feelers out just for people who are already members of, of unique results and said, look, I'm going to be doing this 60 day consistency challenge. And I don't want to be kind of ramming it down people's throats and stuff. If people are happy where they are and they're kind of, they feel like they're on top of things and they're, you know, they're, so I kind of said, ask people to just kind of say if they want to come into this separate group you know so out of about 130 people i've got 50 in this this group you know so it's quite it's about 40 percent probably of, of, the, of the members that's really good <laughs> yeah so i've got 50 in there and then i've started i did a few videos and the first video was it was kind of think think of a a focus or a theme that you you know something you know for the a focus for the next 60 days yeah um, and it was just very broad. And then the next thing that I asked people to do was was to think of one um, daily behavior or practice or something that they're going to commit to do for the next seven days. But just one small thing. And I kind of reiterated that, you know, make it like an easy win. Don't make it something really difficult. We want something that, you know, you're fairly confident you can do for these seven days. So, you know, so you don't kind of fall at the first hurdle. And then, uh, and then they kind of worked on those on those things for the first seven days, and uh, 
and it's everything you know it's little things like you know to drink a certain amount of water each day or to to do to do like a 10 minute meditation each day for seven days or uh you know to make sure you hit a certain number of steps each day for or, or go be in bed by a certain time or someone put you know not to watch any any tv in bed for the next seven days and you know these little things that kind of tie in towards the bigger picture um and i think that's so it's just making these little things stick and it always it does remind me of the um I'm trying to think who it was now it was mark lewis actually i think it was mark lewis who we had on uh kind of over christmas time um who said you know if you've got if you've got good habits and no goals you you, you know you're kind of moving in a good direction anyway but if you've got goals and you've got no good habits then you're, you're kind of fighting a losing battle from the start, you know? So I think it's just so important. And, and th I did one of these groups a couple of years ago. And one of the things that I'd set myself was to always be in bed by half past 10 in the evening at night. And I mean, that's late for me now. I mean, it gradually. Became... I was going to say that's, that, that's, I would struggle with that because I wouldn't be able to stay awake. <laughs> yeah, no, well now well, to begin with, it was like half past 10 yeah. um, because again, that was a, it was kind of like an easy win, but it was kind of mod a moderate goal. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't super early, but it wasn't super late. It was kind of like a, but then that gradually, it has, I haven't officially changed that, but then it kind of became more like, well, I'm actually in bed before 10 most of the time. And now it's probably more like half nine, you know? And, um, and, and I think that just really has helped with my sleep. Um, you know, just reverse engineering. I know that I get up most mornings, I'm up sort of between five and five thirty. So to get a good seven to eight hours sleep, I need to be in bed really, you know, kind of nine thirty, something like that. Mm. And, and then even if I'm waking up at five and I don't get to sleep till ten, I'm still getting seven hours. You know, that's my kind of I, yeah minimum. I, I minimum do the I do you know? very similar. I, I get in I'm in bed by ten. Mm. But, but I like read a book or something like that, but I'm only reading for like 10, 15 minutes and I'm, my eyes are on the way. That mm. actually helps me relax and sleep. Yeah. And um, actually uh, what I do do is use a Kindle as well. Cause I always used to think like the blue light and all that sort of stuff. And apparently the backlight on a Kindle is okay. It's not blue light. Well, uh, you know, everything's blue light, but it's not as bad as like phones and stuff like that. Mm. Apparently it's more like a page. But the reason why I do that is cause I can read my book in the dark. Mm. Because if I've got my side light on, there's more chance of being like if, if I read for longer actually when the light's on. So mm. I turn that side light off and I'm there and I read for literally about 10 minutes. It takes me yeah. the book I'm reading in bed takes me months. 